So we're done bearing fits. We got a bit of a overshoot so we can put a spacer on. We got enough clearance to the balls. I think I take a little bit more off on the outside. We'll check that. Uh, jump for the corners and then we should be done. It's a, it's a nice slip fit. I need to put hands it's a nice slip fit. Uh, tight but not super tight so it doesn't wobble. And we put a retainer on, clamp it on, drill through holes, job done. Um, we need to check the outer diameter if that's clear of our uh, two angle irons to get through and uh, then we should be done. So done jump foot. Let's test fit it. So that's how it fits. We need to make we left about five millimeters here. So we need to make a plate, twelve three holes uh, to hold that bearing in. Um, I need to find something. This is a used bearing, uh, but they only they don't they literally don't move. So maybe that much. That's that's all we're moving. So it doesn't matter what the bearing is. We cleaned the the surface a little bit, get rid of the rust, and uh, that's it. So. First we're gonna put it in, see how it fits, and then uh, we'll make that plate. So that's how it fits, I had to grind out a little bit, it was not enough. Um, so the same thing goes on this side, bearing, and that trunnion here, we need to make some retainers here. So we just mocked it up, <coughs> uh, that's how it goes there. There's only one plate on this side uh, because the forces are less on this end. Uh, we need to make some clamps here so it doesn't move. Uh, yeah, we need to make the retainer, which is a cover for the bearing as well. Same time, we need to make that plate like so, like this one. Uh, we found a piece of scrap here, which probably fits. You need to check the diameter, uh, it's flame cut, but we'll make it fit. And uh, yeah, it's coming together. I'm uh, getting more and more happy with it. It's, uh, yeah, lots of the design, but well, the principal, the principal design was uh, clear. Uh, it was just what material is available and things like that. So we just go along as we find the stuff. Once this is fitted, um, we're a big step forward because the, then we can actually put the guts in here, which are, uh, yeah, I'm not going to tell them right now. Okay, let's carry on. So we need to slot these holes a little bit to the center. Uh, as on the other one, it's just a bit too far out. Uh, uh, we just set it a bit. Don't know if it works. We'll see. It's only slotting a hole, so it should be a fine. We'll see. Uh, got a 12 and a half millimeter uh, end mill. I just plunge it in, and then uh, it just go down to the edge, basically to that edge and uh, same on the other side. All right, let's uh, line it up and see what it does. And I'm feeding because I want to make sure this thing doesn't do anything weird here. That's it. Now to the other side and uh, good to go. So we're done. Slotted up. And 
dann äh, Shit fit nach. Alright, uh, we need to hock something out of that plate here. It's just a tad too small. Unfortunately, it's flame cut. So it's gonna be hard, which is not a good thing. I probably break the edge with the with the angle grinder because that will kill my cutting tool. Yeah, it's really rough flame cut. All right, uh, let's see what we, what we need, how much we need actually. So we set up in the late. Uh, it's so oval, you can't indicate it, so we just eyeballed it. Uh, we cut the edges a bit off, off with the angle grinder, just to make sure there's no dross and no no scale. And uh, we'll give it a try, see how it works. We'll check clearance, so clearance is there. And uh, yeah, you can see, you can see how it's egging here. Let me do that, I uh, need two hands for that, and I will come back. So, it looks like you're on a final pass, clean up, you check it, it's going to be 105 millimeters, and uh, I think we're almost there, clean now. Alright. It's going nice and slow, because I don't know what material is, and that mill scale kills the cutting tool. Alright, let's check the dimensions on the, it should be good. Well, it cleaned up at 102, but we need 105, so we need another 3mm to go. Uh, let's hop that out and then we'll put it on. Well, I think it's about a millimeter depth of cut. It's doing well so far. It's an old tool, I don't know what it is. It's, uh, Place cover, but it's cutting well. Right. Let's finish that off and uh, we'll it. So that's our final pass, and uh, we're about 106, so that's about right. So have a little bit of clearance, just do a spring pass, and uh, we're good to go. Fill the holes and jump for it. Just one. Boring. Let's finish it off. I'm on a slow speed rate. So we're done for the big jump for on it. So we can deal with the radius on the other part. There's a little bit of a radius in the corner. So that sits flush enough. We need to make that a bit flat here. Fill the holes and uh, next one. Yeah, drilling the holes is next job. All right, that's it for today.
late dinner time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.